HP's Omen Gaming Hub might seem like a tool filled with bloatware, but its Light Studio can be a really handy tool, especially if you want to customize and have a consistent RGB theme across your devices. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use the Omen Light Studio to get the most out of your RGB. Well, the first thing that you need to do is uh, fire up Omen Gaming Hub and then click on this Light Studio button right here. We'll wait for a second until the Light Studio lights up. All right. So now we have uh, three major tabs here. What they do is uh, the first tab is the Layout tab. So for example, if you have multiple devices that are supported by the Omen Light Studio or the Omen Gaming Hub essentially. Uh, for example, this is my Windows lighting box. This is what controls my Logitech mouse or my Keychron keyboard RGB. Uh, so this is what sets that. Uh, I'm not going to touch it because I don't want any of my other RGB changed. But if you take a look at uh, your Omen devices, you can set them all up right here. Uh, so if I have, let's say, an Omen laptop and then I have a mouse and then I can lay them out in here exactly the way I have laid them out on my desk. And that makes it a little easy to uh, apply effects if you're going quickly or if you want to just drag and drop uh, effects accordingly. Moving on, next up is the effects panel. And this is where most of, well, all of the effectiveness is happening. You have three ways of selecting zones. One is your uh, regular cursor. So just zoom in. So yeah, this lets you select individual zones. I can select this zone. I can select this zone. I have a four zone RGB keyboard. Unfortunately, unfortunately not per RG per key RGB, but that's all right. So I can go ahead selecting individual zones and then I can come here and apply any of these effects the other one is a marquee selection tool so what this does is that it essentially any zone of any device that is within this bounding box gets applied whatever uh, effect you're using uh, now the thing with marquee selection is that for example this is currently in marquee if i go back and if i move this you will see that the effects go away that's because they only apply in that box which is why having the layout uh, tab set up properly can be helpful but if you just have one device you don't need to worry about it so uh, what i like using is device selection so what this does is instead of selecting individual zones or selecting um, um, creating a bounding box it just lets you select the entire device at one go i only have one so i've got that selected and uh, here we are. All right. So what next? Next up are your effects. Now you've got static, uh, ambient, which is essentially your screen, which gets repainted on this. There's not really much on my screen at the moment, but if I move it, as you can see, there are things that are moving on my keyboard. So it's trying to emulate what's going on on my screen. You can have it set to the foreground app or you can have it set to the entire screen there is image quality so and then updates per second uh, do keep in mind that if you max these two out they will it will take a toll on your system so we are going to set this back to 40 for both next we have audio visualizer uh, as you can guess this is an audio visualizer that shows uh, all of your audio on your keyboard so if i were to let's say play a track on my youtube music app i will wait for this to load up so as you can see this is slightly updating here um, you can't quite see the colors changing actively as i can on my keyboard but this is basically taking the song that i'm playing in the background and uh, showing it as an audio waveform or as power bars on my laptop and then you can change the primary the secondary and the background color as well 
next we have blinking uh, this is your standard blinking uh, effect i don't know why you would use it it looks horrible if you ask me then we have breathing so you cycle between two colors at a speed of your choice you can go as slow as you want you can go as fast as you want then we have color cycle so this cycles between uh, color presets so galaxy ocean jungle volcano whatever you want and you can also create your custom ones right here so you can have multiple colors selected and there's just a lot of customizability in here then we have image this i don't really have to explain it it's pretty simple it basically takes an image and uh, tries to show it on your keyboard it if you have like a four zone keyboard don't bother with most of these because they're not going to work very well uh, but if you have an rgb per key rgb keyboard that would be really cool then we have interactive this only works on perky rgb keyboard so uh, essentially you assign individual keys that trigger individual effects uh, then radial so effect requires two or more zones to be selected so let's give it two zones these two should work and this is your general radial effect um, the color selected go in this radial circle all right uh finally we have wave so this is a very simple color wave you can set the direction of the wave uh how you want this really usually doesn't really matter because you only have one window of direction to show you the wave uh, so you can play around with this if you like but it's pretty standard stuff and uh, yeah that is pretty much it that's those are pretty much all the options that uh, the omen light studio gives you uh, you also have the option of importing and exporting uh, current styles and settings so i want to uh, so this if i click export this will save as a zip file and then i can go on another computer and import it you can also create layers this is mostly helpful when it comes to multiple devices because you can have uh, let's say layer 2 can be this and orange so whatever zone falls into layer 2 will be orange and then they will have a different color and so on and so forth while the underlying wave uh, underlying layer will be something else works very similar to how layers work in any image editing program ever um and that's pretty much it you can um, head over to uh, manage other devices and this is where you can add your philips hue or twinkly lights so this is a handy feature to have but other than that that's it that's how easy it is to use the omen light studio to set up whatever rgb effect you want if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video